going on guys? Today we've got a great video plan for you. Uh, today's going to be the first K that we're working on putting the actual wiring harness in the car. This to uh, run along with the Mega Squirt ECU. So uh, this is just their pre-assembled 8 foot harness. Um, I went with this just because it's really quality wiring. It's pretty cheap for uh, what it is and all the wires. Um, here, if I show you up close, let me focus it real quick. Let's see if you can see that. They're all labeled, um, so you don't have to deal with any of that. Uh, with trying to, you know, figure out what color is which, and they all just come pre-labeled, so you know where everything goes. It's real simple. So, um, the ECU is going to be mounted in the, um, passenger compartment underneath the uh, passenger side seat. Uh, for ease of tuning, just because then I can run the cord underneath the seat to the laptop, and that'll be nice and simple. And so this will have to come through that firewall and into the engine bay. So uh, let's start by drilling a hole and getting this thing uh, fitted in there. So here we are in the engine bay. Uh, this is where I want the harness to come out, right next to that rust hole. Um, basically right in the center of the frame right now, underneath the battery. So it's sort of hidden. Let me walk around the car. I've got this piece of stuff peeled back, but that's going to be right about here. Um, so you see it's just going to sit down here on the ground. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get a drill bit and start drilling in this area. Uh, and then we'll be able to run the wiring up into the bay. So I'll be right back. Got a little bit of room left in here, so there's room for the ECU to be mounted. Uh, let's go to the engine bay. So guys, there's a couple of things I wanted to get done before I start putting the wiring actually together. Um, the battery in this car was just about dead. Um, and I don't want to be fiddling with a battery where I have to charge it every so often trying to get this thing to start. So I bought a new battery. It's a brand new battery. Little tip. The used batteries at AutoZone are usually just freshly um, returned batteries. So this was only 50 bucks plus a core charge for a brand new battery. I mean, that's 2015. And then I also wanted to replace the battery terminals. So picked up a couple of those just because these ones are looking a little bit nasty. And uh, I don't want that. So let's start replacing these battery terminals. So guys, there's the new battery and the new terminal uh, installed in the car. Doesn't really need a new ground terminal. Um, it's in perfect condition and the ground wire just goes right here onto the body, so it's pretty simple. Um, so I guess now we can just get started in uh, routing all these cables and getting all these to where they need to go and figuring that all out. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll start, I'm gonna start uh, Hmm. I'll start with this. This big shielded wire is uh, goes to the crankshaft position sensor. That's why it's shielded so that it stays. The signal doesn't get messed up. Um, I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna reroute these wires underneath the battery so they come out in a better place real quick. But uh, then I'll start getting to work on that crankshaft position sensor. All right, guys. So I had a little bit of a change of plans on how I'm gonna do this. Um, Basically, my first step that I'm going to do is just wire up all the inputs. Um, that's going to be the intake air temperature sensor right there, the coolant temperature sensor right there. Um, we also have a crank crankshaft position sensor down here, and the throttle position sensor up here. And as you can see, uh, like here's the wire for the intake air temp. We've got both the wires for the throttle position sensor there. Um, the wire for the crankshaft position sensor is down there, and then this is the wire for the coolant temperature sensor. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to, I have them marked all where uh, the lengths they need to be. I'm going to cut them, strip them, and then solder them all together. All the grounds um, for all these sensors need to be grounded in the same place so that there is no interference. 
So those will all have those all grounding in the same uh, pin on the board. But basically, I'm just going to start uh, pulling this sort of back out of the car and then uh, soldering the connectors onto all these. So guys, I now have all my inputs wired up and I thought I'd show them to you real quick before I moved on to the outputs. Um, so, here's the engine bay. Uh, wiring loom is gonna be tucked up against this firewall, so it is just hanging for now though. Right here, we have, let's see if it'll focus. Right in here. Yeah, there we go, there's that coolant temperature sensor and as you can see those go up to there as I wired in. I also have my intake air temp sensor. Uh, down here is that uh, crankshaft position sensor. And that runs under the intake manifold. That's this bundle of wires here. And then if we look over on top, we can see my uh, the three wires to the TPS, the throttle position sensor. And those are right here. And all of these grounds for all these sensors all do terminate. Um, it's right here. They all go into the same ground wire. And uh, the reason for that, I think I might have mentioned this, but it's uh, to get rid of like noise in the sensors just to make sure they're as, like, as accurate as possible. Um, so now that I have that all finished up, let me see what I'm going to do next. I think so next I'm going to work on wiring up the injectors and the... Uh, coil. And then once I'm done doing the injectors and the coil, um, I'm going to wire in the main relay as well as the fuel pump relay. So I'll have to wire the fuel pump as well. Um, but that's, I'm getting real close to the end of wiring. This will be, you know, I'm just about finished up. And then I have to rewire the alternator as well. But uh, for the mega squirt wiring, getting real close to the end. So uh, now I'm going to work on those outputs. So all right guys, so I'm sort of learning as I go along, um, but I need to implement uh, a fuse box, um, as well as, what else was I thinking, um, some relays uh, somewhere in here because I need to be able to fuse some of these connections, um, especially the one that goes into the mega squirt itself because I don't want to blow that up by accident by putting too much uh, amperage into it. but. Uh, so I want to, you know, implement a fuse box as well as the relays. And to do that, I'm just going to, there's mounting holes in, these, in this fuse box. So I'm just going to use the automatic center punch real quick and go through the mounting holes and then just uh, find a place to mount them and start putting these in so I can uh, finish up the wiring job. Okay guys, so since I last spoke with you, I've gotten a bunch of work done. Um, here, I'll just get right into it. So, here's the plug for the uh, coil, all wired in. Um, injectors are all wired in, I don't remember if I showed you guys that. Here is that fuse box and then my two relays. It's a little bit messy right now, but I'm just, uh, I need to go grab some stuff before I can clean it up. Um, so, all the wires that are still left coming out of the loom, there's only a few of them, right here. So one of these is a wire for the fuel pump, I believe. Um, so I'll, I'll have to wire that one in. And then the rest of them are all just basically spares and then one of, a, one of them is for the O2 signal. But if I come in here, I'll show you, ignition is on, as you can tell by the blinking light on the dashboard. So this is sort of cool. Um, car isn't ready to start just yet, but it's getting there. I need to go run to the store and buy some spark plug wires because the stock ones aren't going to work. Um, but check this out. If I focus there, there's the screen. Uh, that's hooked up to the ECU right now. So if I go over here and open the throttle, check that out, it actually works. And the intake air temp sensor is rating 57 degrees, which is that what it is in here. The coolant temp is 55. That's gonna, that's correct as well. And then the engine map, that one on the bottom left, 
manifold absolute pressure that's sitting at 83.4 and the engine is running so that's correct as well since I'm at about 5,000 feet elevation so yeah everything's working on it I'm gonna run to the store real quick get a couple of things and uh, hopefully I can find some spark plug wires because I picked up spark plugs right here so I can actually get this thing to start um, yeah, I'll be right back and hopefully it, uh, you know, hopefully I should be messing with this thing real soon. Alright. All these here, this is going to be a 20 amp fuse for main power, 10 amp for fuel pump, two 5 amps for the injectors, and then a 3 amp for the mega squirt itself. And then coming inside, we have the mega squirt hooked up to the laptop. Um, all the sensors are working and everything, so I just have to make some spark plug wires and then hook them up. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Next episode, the car should be running. Um, all I've got left to do now is to wire up the fuel pump, which is one wire. It's completely wired. I just have to run the wire from the relay to the pump itself. Um, so that's nice and simple. Um, but yeah, it's coming together. So all I've got to do is do that fuel pump and those spark plug wires, and it should be ready to start. So. Look forward to that next episode, guys. Uh, for now, just if you have anything to ask me or anything you want to tell me, leave a comment. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.